Hey guys, I know you like streaming and you may use open broadcaster software or XSplit and you need a second or third cam and you have your Android phone. This one is Xperia Acro S, dual core, nothing special, not so expensive. And today I will make a tutorial how to use the cam as your webcam. First you need your application on your Android phone. I use IP webcam for it. Just open your Google Play and search for it. It looks like this. IP webcam. Yeah, here it is. Download it and install it on your phone. It's free. There is no pro or paid version. It has a hell a lot of different settings. And when you start it the first time, it looks like this. You have all your settings here. The first one is resolution. I use the highest is 1280 to 720. It's for the video. For the resolution, set whatever you need or whatever you like it. I don't use it. Quality settings, it's the video quality. I had to reduce this to about 30 to 40 to get a smoother pass because I only have a dual core phone and not the fastest. If you have an S4 or Xperia Z, you will might get a higher quality and still about 25-30 FPS on your webcam. You have your orientation, portrait or landscape. Use front-facing camera. Experimental and the most front cameras has a horrible quality. Don't use it. You have your FPS limit here. Mine is Sorry. Mm -hmm. Ah, stupid webcam. Doesn't see it. You can adjust it down, but uh, most people will use a smooth 30 FPS webcam for streaming. You have a focus mode. It's macro, manual, or aggressive, or smooth. I use aggressive because it focuses faster, but you can turn it smooth to have a smooth transition if you don't move so much or don't have so much moving things around you. Then you have connection settings like login password, your primary address, IPv4 or IPv6, I use uh, default settings here, and port, I still use my default port, it's 8080 you may have adjusted or do a well, what is it called like a port forwarding on your router to get this working. You have your audio mode here. It's still experimental, so I don't use it. It's disabled. And you have some uh, different settings like disable notifications so don't show app running in background and prevent going to sleep so if your phone going to sleep check it uh, so you will keep streaming and uh, it will not shut down stream on device boot I don't need this because I can turn it on before I start streaming and the last one is start server just press it and it will start streaming. You have some actions here like focus, stop and uh, run background and toggle LED and my phone is too bright for the webcam. And the second button is how do I connect? When you press it, you have two settings, Wi-Fi or mobile internet. And when you press Wi-Fi, you will get your IP 
and port what the stream is currently using what your phone is currently using it may be different uh, I use the standard settings and here it is that's it when you start the streaming you will get this panel you can check the streaming by use browser built-in viewer here it is yeah it's working but it's not as smooth you can grab this for streaming but you have to leave it open and it's laggy it's really heavy laggy we need this one that's the link for our next software and here it is it's direct show video source filter for JPEG and MJPEG IP cameras I will post all the links in the video later so you can search for it go to the comments and just click it here it is you have pretty much anything explained Skype never gets this working with Skype maybe because my resolution is higher than here 480 is nah. not really smooth not really nice here are download links 32 bit and 64 bit I use 64 download it install it and here it is Alux info IP video source manage video devices open this with admin rights and here it is you can add new source double click it and put your link in this is your link to your video feed from your smartphone over your Wi-Fi connection or your VLAN here you have your resolution uh, set your resolutions that you use in your Android app I have this already set up here it is once you've done this just click OK and here it is now you can go to your open broadcaster software or XSplit add video source and select Alux Info JPEG video source that's your Android cam you can open the configuration file again directly from uh, open broadcaster software or XSplit and you have the usual settings that are open for webcam source and here it is that's how it looks like it takes some time to focus but the video is pretty smooth it's uh, 720 but usually for streaming you will just adjust it and make it a bit smaller so you will get a really nice picture it's pretty much anything that you need you have all your configuration settings in open broadcaster software or XSplit or whatever you are using for streaming like for usual webcam that's my second one that I use and you can start a game and just go play anything and have two cams set up go the holder for your phone so you can set it somewhere and leave the camera open and free and you have some action buttons here like switch on the LED or turn it off and it's working in the background pretty much without problems so that's it that's anything that you need for streaming with your Android phone the software is free the Android app and the encoder for your Windows PC I hope you will get it working with Skype if you 
kind of done this I don't know how because my Skype doesn't see this as a source I can do it here Go to video settings and I don't see any LX source I see the IP camera different one but I don't see the LX source what I have installed before so I don't know how to get this working with Skype if you know it write it in the comments on the YouTube and I will be glad to see this working so this is it it's working don't forget to plug it in because it's heavily using your battery like two or three hours and your smartphone will die don't forget it have a nice day and thanks you for viewing